It's going to be a sick show. I can't wait. Can't wait. I think it's going to be fucking awesome. Uh, it's, go- it's, it's going to... Um, you guys must see the group. I'll check out the group, the guys. Seba uh, Ferrup. Ahoy, so right about now, we are six weeks out from the IPFF Cape Classics 2023 edition. This is the third year the show is running and it gets better every time. Ahmad, what's happening, bro? What's happening, boys? You good? I'm all good. How are you guys doing? Can you see me? Good, good. Look. Yeah, I can see you. You're looking a little bit uh, slimmer in the face there, already. I can see. Mm-hmm. Yes, to, yes, to. <laughs> <laughs> I know I ask you this every time, but uh, how's, how's the prep going? <sighs> it's going, that's all I can see. It's going. It's getting it's tough like going to that point. The, the mind game is starting to sit in now, if I have to be honest. Mm. Mm. How many weeks is it now? It's the twenty. Is it the twentieth today? No, eighteenth today. Six weeks now. Yesterday was six weeks. Okay. This is yeah. This is very yeah, good serious. Yeah. Yo, you go, bro. You look. You look very tired. Are you right? Mm, yeah. No. Yeah. No. Don't even <laughs> just about it. <laughs> he looks like he's more prep than I'm on prep. <laughs> a lot of sleeping, just a lot of sleeping. But yeah, so today, actually, the topic I wanted to discuss is actually something to do with what we discussed at, um, with Arnie. Uh, was it last week Saturday? Was kind of the because it's, it's something that I think about a lot, and I I, I don't know I'm relatively pa- not passionate about but i see a like a big problem with it is we, remember mickey we're talking about obviously you know with regards to judging and whatever uh with gano and synthol and all that all that stuff um i don't know i have a very strong opinion on on the whole gano situation just because um i don't know if you guys have noticed but and I'm not, I'm not even just saying in South Africa per se, but mostly is I've like watched a lot of the shows and, and a lot of the guys and all their stage picks and it's like gone crazy now with the ones of guys with Ghana on stage. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed that or it's just, if it's just me. Yeah, yeah, definitely have. Mm. I've seen it more on local stages than international stages, to be honest. Yeah, same. More the local. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Like, I mean, I've been in the last like six to 12 months. I don't know. I've seen maybe a little bit longer. Maybe I'm talking shit. Maybe a bit longer. I've just seen it a hell of a lot. And I think, I don't know what you guys' opinions on it. You know, should should guys like that, should, should you be marked down? like quite hectically for that or you don't think so or do you think you should be disqualified or it's more about Mickey, like... what do you think sorry i think i don't think you should be disqualified i think you should be rather marked down and just inside on, on the side and as a judge and say look here um it's a situation of and stuff and the guy, I know it's it's quite bad. Some in some people you can't see it. Some people it's worse. Um, but I think you could you could mark an athlete down for that, but not disqualify. Yeah. Sorry, mm-hmm. and you you guys, I know you're saying something. Sorry. Um. No, I was just thinking that. Um, there are guys that have it and it you can see it's there, but it doesn't really like distract you from the rest of their physique. So if you have it, then it's like it's it's okay, it's fine. Um it's just like at to what degree is it like drawing your attention away from everything else? Like that's the biggest problem I would say. Like if you um yeah, if you're hitting the pose and my eyes are immediate, and that's the first thing that I'm looking at, I think then it kind of like, you know, that should tell you everything. If that's the first thing that you're looking at, 
rather than this awesome physique and this awesome pose, um, then it's something that you look at. But if you go to the physique and you're like, oh, wait, is that little something there? And it's like, ugh, is, is it really worth giving a guy a harsh time over a little bit that you can see there um, rather than having a freaking, you know, ball there, right in your eye? Yeah. No, for sure. For sure. I just think, you know, I think that maybe it's, you know, if they, if it got, if, if guys got disqualified or it became like banned, like you weren't allowed to have it at all. You know, I think you'd, you know, give our sports a lot better look. Because to me, it, it, it doesn't give, it doesn't, you know, when you see guys, and, and especially if they are really good and they're like winning and whatever. But you can see they obviously got Gano, and obviously there's levels to it, like you said. I don't know. I just feel like it makes the sport look look kind of shit, you know? Because I feel like if if that was in any other sport, with something similar, they'd you know they kind of just be like, no, sorry, you can't compete or you can't do it. Um, that is that's actually my opinion, to be honest with you. Now the question cool from the you, you just did a, a judges workshop. What from a judges point of view, what is the ruling on that? Well, pretty much, pretty much what Mickey said, you know, and um, that's that's what it is uh, at the moment. But uh, I was, I was obviously, I was busy listening, and and obviously, I've been flipping, following the sport for what over a decade now, and I don't know. I just always, always when I see it, um, and maybe it's just because I watch it like I watch so closely and carefully. Um, because you know you watch a show and you judge it yourself. You know you go okay, first, second, third, fourth, even just in your head. It's so obvious to me. Like I see it straight away, and straight away, um, your mind goes, "Oh shit!" You know, like even though you know that all the every single guy on that stage is is using it, using gear and whatever, whatever. It just gives like this. I don't know, just this like bad look, this bad you know, sort of um, look to to bodybuilding. I don't know why. I don't know if, if it's just me that has that opinion. Obviously, there's some other guys, but I kind of wanted to get your guys, or your guys ruling, because it's like Mickey said, it's not it's not banned or anything. You know, guys will just get marked down a bit. That's it. Yeah, well, you brought this, the, the, the topic up. So I've actually lost to someone who's had gyno. Okay. And like it was, it was evident. Like it was fucking seriously evident. Um, yeah. So I actually spoke to, and this was actually in the NPC. This is it was actually in one of the NPC shows. Um, like I knew this guy. Like we could see the the guy. You know, um, I, there was a, there was a, a, a ex IFBB judge in the crowd um, after the show. I always spoke to him about it, like, um, like yo, like, what is, what was, the, what does he think about um, the result and everything? And it's like, first of all, he's not sure what the ruling is, obviously, when it comes to there. But like, as him as a judge, he's been, he, he, I think he was a IFBB judge for plus minus five or six years, um, and he said, like, from from their point of view, like, immediately once that's that's spotted, the a judge has been sending a note down the table and say, okay, listen, wherever you got this guy, you have to knock him down two places for the guy, you know. Um, okay. So like one or two places, depending how bad it is, but once it's there, it's, it's evident, no matter how good the rest of the physique is, I mean, it's there. Um, that's, 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 that's a tough one, so it depends on how, like, how good the guy is. Um, yeah. What the rest of the lineup looks like. I, I, my opinion, I think it's like it's fair. It's even because I mean, it's a it's a it's a visual sport that we that we that we we competing in. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a it's an imbalance to the physique. So number one, you should be marked down because it's an imbalance. So I agree with that. I don't I don't think you should be ba- like disqualified or banned because some, it's not something that well you can control it. I mean, once you you, you see this is this is starting to flare up. You have to take the precautions to make sure that it doesn't get worse. But I think, like in all, I mean, like the the presentation of everything, you should be marked down for it. That's my opinion. So, 
Yeah, for sure. But do you think that um, would you would you allow one of your one of your clients to step on stage if they did have it? No. Nope. Definitely. See, that's where my argument comes. Is like you know, as a as as you know, you guys know better than anyone if you're gonna have if you're not gonna allow your clients on stage with it, um, and you're gonna get marked down for it in any case. Um, yeah, of course, like people take, the, you're going to take the risk and, and see, maybe you can beat everyone, even though you have it for sure. But I just think that if, if so, you know, the federation, whichever federation says, listen, this is the story. If you have, have Ghana, you get immediately disqualified. It would just mitigate it completely. And then no one would, no one that's, just, you know, stood on stage would probably come. You'd never see Ghana happening again. Um, because they know they're going to get disqualified. And then, you know, especially people that are new to sports and especially youngster, you know, your youngsters or younger people coming in and, and, and you know, you're trying to watch the and, and enjoy the sport for everything that it is. Then you, then you you know, I don't know. That's just my opinion. I think if it was up to me, I'd, I'd ban it. It's the same thing with, like, you know, with, um, with the whole Synthol situation. Um, yeah, you can, you can, you guys can use it and you can kind of, you know, there's a lot of like, I don't think people realize how many, how many pros actually use it, but they use it right and they, you can't see it. And then, you know, obviously some people take it to the extreme and it looks terrible. Like, uh, in my opinion, I don't know. I just think that if you ban it all together, if you ban those substances, first of all, like the synthol and whatever, um, which I think they kind of do. They kind of do, but I don't know. It's just a just a thing for me, especially. I mean, I've been watching. I watched the last couple shows, and not not <clears throat> not just one federation, all the federations. Um, and it just seems to be getting worse and worse and worse. And it's like some of the guys are like, it's hectic. You know, they obviously have to get it surgically removed. There's no there's no coming back from that. So yeah, and also, I feel as if it. If it had to get banned, guys would take a lot more of a um, you know harder stance on it in the in the in their prep and stuff, and to make sure that that never happens, you know, and then probably look at at a healthy alternative or or not a healthy alternative, just a better better protocols and and a little bit a little bit of a deeper dive into what they're using, if that makes sense. Yeah. I think we should, think make, we should make a stand to it and finish. Make an example. Nowadays, you, you, you see a lot of guys, um, even, even on social media as well, you can clearly see they're using social media. You can clearly see it. Especially those guys that want their shoulders big. They have massive shoulders. But the biceps and triceps are small, and it's not complement they they chest at all. It just looks so weird. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think that was one of uh, I think that was one of Big Ramy's biggest. Um, what's the word? What's what's the word I'm looking for? Well, what people were you know nailing him for the most. Was those in this last prep? Was those shoulders? I don't know if you guys saw those shoulders were very, very suspect. You know, so a lot of people were saying Rami's shoulders look a little bit suspect in the in these updates, saying they look excessively puffy, round, full, disproportionate even to the way the rest of his physique looks. And I, I can definitely agree with that. I can see that, especially in this front lat spread pose. I think that's the pose for me um, where they really kind of look disproportionate to the rest of his body. And Hardy. Hardy. Uh, and Hardy, yeah. The uh, guy knows as well, even William Bonner. He's lost from um, um, Arnold Classics that he won. So he was quite still a bit upset because he said that his guy was a bit bad. I told him they have to make sure that he's not going to step on stage with the guy, but he's still winning. We're still winning. So yeah. It was, it was quite, it was quite strong. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, he actually, yeah, he got them removed, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, he did. Um, 
but yeah, look, it's a it's a fine line. I think it definitely is a fine line. But like even you guys, I know for I'm sure I'm sure like if you if you develop some type of gyno, there's no way you'd um, you know you wouldn't step on stage. Or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. William William didn't win the Arnold. Um, Brandon won that year. He came second to Brandon. He came second. He came second to Brandon. He, did, he, he had to but... Like it was an argument that he should have won because of the overall conditioning. But then they, they told him that your guy knows the issue. That's why we never won. That's why Brandon beat him. Mm. That was last year. That was last year's Arnold. Was it last year? Yeah, I know. I know that there was some debate or something about this guy and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah. That was last year. Yeah, it's pretty... But yeah, well, I remember it being quite bad. Central is also going quite bad around. Um, you can actually see everyone starting. <laughs> Central for me is just a fucking cheating drug. Yeah. Everybody's going to say like, yeah, steroids, it's, it, it's also cheating, but you actually put in a lot more, you understand? So until you just shoot some fucking fish oil and then everything is good enough. I don't even think that's fish oil they're freaking shooting. That's, that, like, that's the that's... thing between central and gear. Like the gear like absorbs in your body. The central actually just sits there. You know, it just, mm. like, it's, just, sits... and, it's, like, it's like filler. It's not, it's not like it doesn't absorb in your body like 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 the gear like this this testosterone would absorb into the muscle into the body. Central just fucking sits there. But how yeah. much fuck do you still wanna shoot into your body? It's it's, it's ridiculous. It's mess. There's, there's some fucking there's some freaks out there. Have you have you guys like watched the all these videos of the guys that are like. Deformed completely. Brazil goes way too active on it. Way too much. What are you saying, Mickey? I say, especially in in, in Brazil. Mm. They, yeah. They simple, like, heavy. Did you Did you guys ever see the the one bouncer in Sun City? He was quite famous. I saw the, that here. The big mm. black guy. I think he was quite, he was also quite a tall guy, but he had, I mean, his arms were like, they were like this. The rest of his body was like, fuck it. He was like, looked terrible. You know, he's quite skinny. He had these arms of fucking destiny. And everyone used to, whatever, go and take photos with him. And I'm sitting there just going, yes. Also, like you said, it just sits there. So it doesn't really go anywhere. Um, and it's the same thing with, with Ghana, you know, if, if it's bad enough. Now you gotta go. If you want the shit out, now you gotta go and go to the doctors and get they fucking, you know, cut your arm. Because also it starts to create cysts and shit like that that a lot of guys get if it's done done badly. And I mean I've seen some fucking horror stories of of uh I don't know if you guys ever saw this this Russian guy who was fucking skinny, 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 but apparently he had like bad mental mental problems. But he was skinny, 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 and he also had these balloon arms. And he was like, he used to do like TikTok dances and shit, and he got like famous, but he just looked like a complete twat. I am professional bodybuilder, Mr. Olympia, muscle, muscle, naturalis, sport, live five years, professional, master pop MMA, one round, knockout. Plastic Siege. I am Joker. Professional. Opa, 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 opa. Hop, hop. Hop. Transformation. One day, million. Transformation phase, million. 2J, Opa. And uh, he had to go get get operated on. And you check him, put his arm like this, and he's got this huge scar across his across his arm because, it, like, same thing, like these fucking huge cysts inside of his arms. 
that sounds started to started to develop and then when he did have these cysts it was like all bumpy and shit because obviously the cysts are like an inside on different different places oh my god fucking i don't know what possesses someone to do that but you know oh fuck no it's gross absolutely so um yeah you guys know I don't know if you- locally that's that's used since i don't know i haven't actually come across anybody who's actually asked about it or spoke about it i haven't seen it mm. a few people have done it and it's just crazy i didn't see any results it still looked the same so it was it was pointless Mm, I also know. I know one or two guys. Um, Why did you take that chance? It's that stuff's really bloody dangerous. I mean, people don't really actually realize like if you put too much of that in there and that stuff hardens, hardens and calcifies, like it restricts blood flow to that area. And if that builds up enough, um, you literally. You're not getting blood flow to that area, which means that area of your body is going to start dying. So, and people actually have to get like uh, legs and arms amputated because this crap is sitting there. Like, there's no blood flow to it. So, you're going to, um, yeah, the body part's going to start dying off. People, <laughs> like, do you not really understand that, like, how kind of like this is, this is not what you should be touching at all? Mm-hmm. Like, this stuff is dangerous, you know? Like, no. Yeah, it's fucked up. It's it's fucked up. I think you you definitely have, um, what's it called, bad uh, body body dysmorphia or whatever. If you, you know, you yeah. start using that stuff to that, especially to that extent. I mean, uh, I knew a story of a guy I knew that had a, you're almost like the opposite of a pigeon chest. You know, like a one of those like dents in his chest, and then the one pick he could build the one pick, and the other one was kind of just flat. And if I'm not mistaken, he he like got it done properly in that other pick, and it kind of just made it look even. You know, in in that regard, maybe you know, like I I kind of kind of understand that. But these guys that are doing it, the problem is, you you can't really like I've never seen someone use like use synthol and you can see it and then come back get it removed or whatever and then come back and look good that's why when i see rami and and these guys that it was pretty obvious that he was shooting it in his shoulders at a stage um you know when they start to get that fucking like point Mm. you know it's not around anymore there's a little bit of the point on the shoulder and you go like can you come back from that you know unless you get it removed i don't know but uh yeah, it's 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 mad. But but Ahmad, like, there's there's definitely uh, there's a few guys that I know that well not a few. There's two guys that I know that compete that that have used it before, but you can't really you can't really see it. But both of them that I know both regret using it, like hectically. I think we can also lose feeling and shit in that in that spot. Yep. Yeah. Um. I don't know if you guys checked this. I got sent this link just now, actually. Um, about this, okay. First of all, um, I, I don't know if you guys watch, watch Carte Blanche. I don't fucking watch. I don't watch that that shit. I, I just think it's. Uh, anyways, I won't go down that that road. But anyway, I just got sent a link, and maybe I should send it on the group to you guys now. But I don't know if you guys have ever been to hat or you, you know you know about hatfield hatfield square and whatever back in the day it was like this big jaw place in pretoria in pretoria yeah 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 they they carte blanche is doing a thing now apparently tonight on all the on on one of these jaws there in hatfield they apparently has been been running this like huge syndicate um look i never trust the fucking news but this is what it says um it said that obviously it's like all money money laundering um uh bounces like just fucking guys up for no reason whatsoever like hectic hectic um someone like uh, bounces like breaking fucking someone's leg and just like hectic, hectic shit like that and apparently it's what i've heard apparently there's been a lot of um underaged 
mostly girls in there getting sparked, you know, by, by some people at the, you know, some guys joining there, but it's, you know, that what they're saying is that it's, it's, it's a whole, it's, you know, it's part of the, the people that run it. Now I'm not going to mention names, but I've, I've been to this place specifically and it seems, it seems 100% legit because we always knew it as like this dodgy place. Don't fucking go there because chicks get sparked. Um, you you step one, one foot out of place and the bounces, the fucking, you know, jump you. Um, all the owners walk around with fucking like knives and ch- ch- I've seen them chase people with, with fucking pinky knives and shit. Um, which is, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's fucked. But the problem is, I actually wasn't going to say this, but anyways, fuck it. So the one, the one night was, um, we were out trolling, whatever, it was a couple of years ago. And I checked the, one of the owners of, of this club inside. And I know he's, he's one of the, one of the, the owners. He walks outside. There's all oh, there's a police van outside. He walks out, gets in the police car, but I could see he was carrying something. I don't know what he was carrying. Couldn't really see. Okay, carrying something. Gets into the car, talks to the policeman for a bit, comes out, doesn't have that whatever it was on him, and then you know come and whatever, and they the guys leave. And these are the same guys that were like jawling through COVID. They have COVID and no one else was allowed to do that shit besides them. So they've obviously got some, you know, some affiliation with the with with the cops there. So that's that's fucking going down now tonight. I'm actually interested to see. Um, but yeah, fuck dude. This country is going to fucking I mean, look, if you can get away with that type of shit, you can kind of get away with anything. Let me send it to you guys now. Um uh, what is not corrupt at this point? It's fucked. And let me tell you, I, 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 I lived in Pretoria for majority of my life. Not, well, fucking 95% of my life. And we have it good here in Cape Town. Let me tell you. It's a completely different, completely, completely, completely different thing. Look, there's fucking corruption everywhere. It's It's mad. But um, it's a, it's completely different. I mean, no one really like drinks and drives. Yeah, like they in Pretoria, where no one fucking Ubers. You drink, you drive. If a cop pulls you over, it's like actually laughable. Like no one, no one used to get scared about that. You know, like you get get stopped in Cape Town drunk driving. Like you probably there's a big chance you fucked. You know, like there's there's a big chance. Obviously, it depends who, but. I mean, Pretoria, you get stopped by a cop and you're drunk. You'd be like, fuck, look at the guys next to you. Oh, does anyone have a hundred grand on you? Yeah, yeah, I got a hundred bucks. Okay, cool. We're good. As long as we got money, we sharp, you know? <laughs> it's fucked. Absolutely fucked. Um, what was I doing? Uh, I was sending this. So you, sorry, boys. Sorry, boy, I'm just on a podcast. Ne- ne- never, never been yeah, a right? fan of Chosey, bro. Sorry? Pretoria, never been a fan. Mm-mm. You can't compare it. And the only only way I knew how much I dig Cape Town was when I go back to Pretoria. Uh, and it will always be my fucking, you know, it's my home and whatever. But when I go back there, I'm there for like a week and I'm like, fuck, I need to get back to Cape Town. It was like as soon as possible. So I go there for work sometimes and whatever. Sorry? So what are you trying to say? You love Cape Town now. Oh, <laughs> 100%. I'll never, if I have to move, it won't be, it will, if I've ever moved from Cape Town, it will be overseas. It won't be, it won't be back to Pretoria, I can tell you that. And I mean, look, also Durban used to be also very cool. Now I don't want to fucking go to Durban either. I'm actually going to Durban in Get like two weeks. There, Say it again? Get assassinated there in Durban. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, fuck. Um, so the dog children, honestly, it's just crazy. Like, um, especially in the last couple. I don't know if you guys have noticed. Also, in the last couple of years, yeah, it's like, um, how do I say it? It's you know, like how you, when you see police, 
when you see any type of law enforcement, you're supposed to feel you're supposed to feel like safe and protected because fuck, there's police here. If anything happens, or if I get mugged or anything, like I'll be shot. I don't know about you guys. I don't feel that way. I, I feel actually more on edge when the cops are around. Yeah. Or maybe that's just my inner Pretoria. I, I guess you guys don't agree. <laughs> yeah, you, never, you never know what might happen, bro. So, yeah, you, you, you can't predict anything, bro. Mm-mm. No, for sure. You got to look out for yourself. You got to protect yourself at all times here. No, for sure. I think that's also, uh, I know it's, um, it's like looking at the silver lining, but I think that's why a lot of South Africans do so well overseas. You know, when they, when they, um, when they go over there, you know, business wise, a lot of them fucking do so well is because people struggle to pull the wool over anyone's eyes, any South Africans' eyes, you know, like you're not going to outwit them or um, they're always prepared. Always like, you know, watching their guy, they always got their guard up. But I think that's one of the reasons they do so well. It's a lot harder to fuck a South African over than just some Italian guy that's never like fucking been a part of any violence or anything in his life, you know? Um, but yeah. Are you, are you going to be able to come to the, the Cape Classic? Yeah, for sure. I'll for sure be there. Sick. It's gonna be a sick show. I can't wait. Can't wait. I think it's gonna be fucking awesome. Uh, it's go- it's it's going to. Um, you guys must see the group. Did you- oh, check out the group, the guys. Eh, seven fed up. Ahoy! So right about now, we are six weeks out from the IBFF Cape Classics 2023 edition. This is the third. Year, this show is running and it gets better every time. But fair to this year, there will be cash prizes. The Chankura Papa and the organizers said, I must let you know that the medals are bigger this year for the top six. The overall trophy is huge. So that is a great motivation for you to visualize yourself lifting that trophy and taking it back to your hood. Yeah, but fair to uh, last but not least, there's also 20,000 rands worth of educational vouchers to be won for the guys that also want to pursue a career in the fitness industry. So yeah, but fair to uh, the organizers have went through all the stops to make sure that the show is going to be great. You just have to show up looking your best. Winning this show, guys, sets you up for other shows. It gives you bragging rights in the whole of Cape Town. So yeah, guys, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Send your physique updates. Yeah. Like, like really, the quality of athletes is so sick. Like, I don't know. There's a guy from um, Zimbabwe. He's also going to come down. I think that's that. Um, not the sucky guy, the guy is, I, I think his handle's name is God. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he's, he was chatting a lot of shit on that fucking group. I was like, okay. You know, everyone know they are just kids. This is just kids. I'm like, wow. <laughs> but did you see his shoulders? Yeah, bad. Yeah, look, um, I'm, I'm quite excited. Because the quality of athletes is, 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 is going to be insane, um, better than last year. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. The guys are looking pretty shredded. Yeah. We, we in a group chat, Lyle will tell you, the way that group chat is going. But it's, it's, it's like healthy battle, man. It's not mm. um, the guys like if you fuck you or stuff like that. But the guy under, he's also going to make a comeback. He's, he has massive, massive um, and shoulders. He's quite good. Six weeks up. It's quite good. Yeah. I was about to say, some of the guys on the group looked like they competed last weekend. You know, they yeah. tuck and shredded to the bone. So let's see. Let's see, let's see how that goes. Do you know how many athletes? Sorry, Mickey, you were going to say? I don't know. Go ahead. I was going to say, do you know, uh, do you have a, an estimate on how many athletes are going to be competing? So far, I have a amount, but you know, athletes, they don't, they don't um, chat much. They just show up on the, on the day. They don't talk about, no, I'm going to compete. They just keep it like hush, hush, like a secret. That is how we athletes yeah. here in South Africa will take that. I'm not fine. But yeah, they just 
stupid, but so far, about 32 athletes so far is going to compete. That's athletes that confirm with us. Okay, so it's probably going to be quite a quite a. Yeah, it's going to be more. Of... It's going to be more. Because last okay. year it was about it was about over fifty athletes for the second show, and you saw and you guys saw the um, the novice lineup in bodybuilding. It was it was good athletes in the novice lineup, and it and that the youngsters looked so. Good. Mm. But this this quite a few big names um, is going to compete with it. They want to qualify for the All Africa Cup. It's quite a big, a uh, um, few big names that's going to compete in that lineup, especially the um, over 90s and the under 90 bodybuilding. Going to be a nice yeah. lineup. So name them. The big names, name them. They don't want to be named. Uh, all all people, all people oh, last sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Never knew we spoke about the Olympia there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it the why people, like why athletes is like that. They didn't want to say, okay, they're going to compete. Um, I'll keep it like that. So This is yeah. the, exact, the exact thing I spoke, of, uh, spoke to Dave about yesterday in the gym. Um, the guy that edits the podcast. We'll turn it up and get freaky, get freaky, get freaky. Way she monkey round no Rafiki. If you with me, you get me. I'm picky, I'm picky. Go we go all night, call a sicky.